I thought it would be funny to call this pretty particular tutorial headache. The bomb is actually going to drop on Got Lizard's head. And this is a comedy, so we're going to basically have him look up, and a big question mark is going to appear over his head, and then the bomb's going to blow up on it. So we're going to go to our timeline and add our layers as usual, Got Lizard. And we're going to drag our friend to the layer. But we have a version of him where he's being looked at from above. So we're going to drag that to the stage here. And what I want to do is give the illusion that the bomb is approaching him. So on this frame, I actually want him to be a little smaller. And then we're going to zoom in as the bomb gets closer to him. So we're going to go to frame 30, add a keyframe, and then zoom in on him. And this is where he's going to notice for the first time that he's about to get hurt. So let's go ahead and add our motion tween. And we can now lock this layer. And let's preview that. And as you see, we are the bomb as we come down. Now we're going to add a question mark. And we don't want it to appear until about frame 30. So we're going to press F6 here and we're going to use our text tool and we're going to just type a question mark and I want this to be red so I'm going to highlight the text and go down here and make it red I'm also going to make this my favorite font impact and we're gonna make this pretty big but don't worry we're gonna animate this question mark as well so we're gonna put it here I'm gonna turn it into a symbol let's go ahead and modify convert to symbol Let's call it question mark. And actually I could have made that a graphic symbol, but it's not too late to change it. I turned it into a movie clip by mistake. Now watch this. I can come down to the panel down here and then change the behavior like so. Easy as that. Now that we have a symbol, let's go ahead and make this invisible on this frame. And the question mark is going to pop up and be completely visible in frame 30. So let's go ahead and drag our Lizard out a little bit. Actually, let's go ahead and do that because I want him to grow and then look up. So all I did was basically move the last frame here and then grab it and move it back and that leaves him on the stage. Now what I want to do is I want to take our question mark and we're going to change its alpha to 100% and then we're also going to make the question mark grow. Add a tween, like so, and then we're going to have the explosion, which will be by itself. So now let's go ahead and bring our explosion in as a new scene. And that's the beauty of scenes. You don't have to worry about keep go, uh, continually adding stuff to the timeline. And you have a lot more control. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a new scene called Boom. And we're going to import some video. So let's go ahead and import some footage and we're going to find in my special effects folder I have all kinds of stuff I even have a category called explosions and pyro and let's see if I can find a really cool explosion here I'll just go ahead and grab one of these explosions I have so many of them and we'll just go ahead and accept all of the defaults we're going to import the video as is and it's going to go into our library and we're just going to call it boom and let's find the explosion here it is and drag this right to the stage and as soon as you do that it's going to tell you how many frames it will require to play all the way through and let's also expand this a little bit because I want it to pretty much reach the edge of the screen like that now that we have our explosion in place I guess we can go ahead and wrap this up and take a look at the entire movie so let's go ahead and see what we have let's go to control test movie and what I would like to do is challenge you guys to go online and find some free sound effects and then add them into the movie and really make it come alive so let's go ahead and watch our masterpiece our three dollar and fifty five cent movie
that's pretty cool. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm definitely take it upon yourselves to add more buildings, add maybe a sidewalk, maybe some people running, add some more scenes, and really take all the skills you've learned and just have a good time. That's what animation is all about. So you've learned quite a few techniques and just take them, master them, and come up with your own techniques as well. That's what it's all about. Have fun.